you got injured in 2002. And then from there, it seems like they, but they wrote you off in the weirdest way ever, which I love to, to talk about is Bubba Ray Dudley and Trish Stratus give you like a super power bomb from the top through a table. Now you're backwards, sitting up there, going through a table. How does that feel mentally? Because usually a power bomb, pick up, drop down. This is you're sitting there for a brief moment and being like, okay, what's going to, oh, and someone just throws you through. How does that feel? Because that's got to be an interesting, interesting was, concept. It was very, um, I wasn't happy about it because I was already set to go into surgery uh, two days later, you know, for to have my um, ACR repair. So it's like, <laughs> They they didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so to write you off, they could have easily been like, "Oh, she fell down some stairs," and you show you on the ground like like this. Well, I just could have came in there and got rolled up on a, a, a schoolboy or something, you know, whatever. But yeah, let's put it through a table <laughs> while you're while you're already injured. While I'm already injured, <laughs> I guess uh, your ACL can't get broken anymore in their eyes or or anything else i guess (laughs) oh man see yeah that's interesting because yeah you get you get written off tv with a power bomb and then from there you come back for a little while your manager for your current your your husband right now rodney mack and then you're released and it seems to me that they didn't have at least the way online says they didn't have any plans for you. They didn't know what to do. But with how you. is that possible? I just pretty much carried the women's division for two years. How do you go from they just like writing Roman Reigns off right now? Say, hey, brother, we ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> right. They wouldn't fire him. You know, they wouldn't be, oh, <laughs> you know I'm sorry. So why do you feel like you were released? The real reason? I don't know. That's a question that's been, you know, stand sitting behind, you know. Just for making me wonder for the last 15, 20 years, like what and how and why? I don't believe they can come up with a reason. They just were like, yeah, we're we're done. That's, just what they, that's what they tell people. Oh, you know, creative don't you know have anything for you. I even told them like, hey, I don't need creative to tell a story for me. I can get out in the ring and create my own story. Yeah. I, I agree with you. And I'm, 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 <laughs> probably around that time, though, uh, eventually they started bringing like supermodels and having the divas search. Yeah. And, they and, went ma- back and ma- to the, they maybe went that's back why, to though. And Brock, bull crap. Yep. They, they were like, we don't want to, we don't want to deal with Jazz giving us, you know, she wants to be a great wrestler uh, storyline. We want to have Brian Penny matches. We want to have pillow fights. And I, yep. I'm, because you see a lot of stories, not about yourself, but in general, when people get released, suddenly where everyone's like, wait, why? And then a story randomly appears, they're hard to work with. And you're like, I've heard that excuse too many times to so not even, believe that it. That wasn't even a story that came out about me because no one, no one can say that. No one has ever said that, that I'm hard to work with. That's one thing that, no, if anything, everyone wanted to work with me. Hmm. From, from the from the top companies to to the to the to the indies, like people love to work with me because, yeah, I, I'm easy to work with. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm like, is there? There's got to like. Sometimes you just think someone goes to piece of paper and go, ah, we're done, and then just fire them, and they don't even bother thinking about it because they have more things to think and about. And I could see if the person was was not getting over. You know what I mean? Uh, just you just couldn't do anything with them, find anything that helped or work for this individual but for me and Rodney both like we were making our own way you yeah. know <laughs> I know there was your yeah your husband Rodney uh it felt like randomly they would have something for him then not and then have then not like him and Teddy Long Mark Henry and then there was just like him and Chris Nowinski was suddenly together yeah, and it was just they kept just right. being like start go start go start go like with you i felt like it was continuous we're doing well we're doing well and then they were like oh she got hurt oh okay well whoops and then they just I came, the but i came back i came back and, and won the title again so yep. that's what i'm saying so it wasn't even about being injured because everyone gets injured over there of course you know but like i said you know how i go from pretty much carrying the women's division for two to three years to like you're saying oh we, we don't we, we don't know what to do with you you right. know it just make no sense and also, you know, I created um, history with Teddy Long. I'm the only female talent that Teddy has ever managed. He's managed some of the greatest of all times, but I'm the only female that he ha- has ever managed. 
<laughs> wow. Holla, yeah. holla, holla, holla to that. Yes, wow. yes, yes. And we're still, we're all still tight with Ted. We talk to him, shit, two, three times a month. Oh, man, I thought you say two, three times a day. I'm like, stop no, texting me, Teddy. No, stop texting me, Teddy. I don't want to fight the Undertaker. No. 